28,640. These are the zones where we expected strong buying in gold. Let us see what happened after that. After the price opened around this zone, you can see the gold straight away went ahead and tested this 28,860, which is a quite a minor resistance for gold. So we calculate this resistance based upon the histories of chart. It is not after uh, the price movement. We are drawing this resistance and explaining you. This is we what we expect uh, with this type of uh, practice is that we expect all the viewers and clients to follow the same practice uh, that can help you uh, in uh, taking a proper trading decision. <coughs> so after testing this resistance, the market came down again and tested a support of 28,820. Now you can see how the price is uh, creating a yes, resistance and support. Uh, and you can see how long the market was creating a support here. So after creating a support, you can see the market came up and bounced uh, and broke this resistance clearly and it is now converting this resistance into support. So this is the way of converting a resistance into support. After taking a very good support around this 28,860, the market went higher and tested 28,940. So this is a uh, 28,920 is going to be a quite a minor resistance here and uh, <coughs> you can see the market formed a two top and failure to break this uh, resistance uh, caused the market to stay down lower around this 28,860 and is closed uh, near 28,870 which is just above the major support zone of 28,860. So when we see the price action, yesterday's price action you can very well see that from 28,820 market went up and tested this 28,820 and uh, there is 120 points again in the uh, gold market and after that after the going again the market just consolidated here and just closed near above the opening. So the yesterday's closing is quite above the opening and today we are expecting gold to open around this zone or above this 28,820. So we are expecting gold to not to open below this 28,860. That is for sure that we expect the price to open above the yesterday's uh, closing and above the major support zone. So today also what we are expecting is that we are expecting some buying to happen in gold. So having this uh, 28,000 again we want to say this uh, 28,720 and 28,660 these zones are going to be quite important. Uh, and quite decision making zones for trading in gold. So what we can to do today is that since the price has moved considerably higher, we need to increase our stop loss also. So what we can do is that we can go for a buy till 28,720 and have 28,700 as a stop loss. You can go for a buying till this zone and we expect the price to break uh, <coughs> this uh, 28,920 and we expect in short term if the price can uh, potentially stay higher, you can expect uh, the price to major reach the major psychological level of 29,000 and 29,020 in short term. So today also we are expecting some uh, uh, <coughs> some buying in gold. The other thing what we want to say is that um, about support and resistance. There was some queries about support and resistance. Uh, uh, how to uh, use this support and resistance? What is the deal in um, uh, making the support and resistance in technical analysis? Uh, it is not about learning support and resistance. Uh, we want to say that uh, the 50% uh, the depends upon trading depends upon support and resistance. We spent a lot of time in learning the support and resistance, uh, but uh, it is all about trusting your support and resistance. Uh, you so that is why I initially we told you how to follow the how to draw support and resistance line. Only the practice can make you perfect. Uh, so keep uh, practicing on support and resistance it is not about practicing but at last it is going to how we are going to trust your support and resistance uh, so trading in gold uh, you need to be very perfect on support and resistance uh, so please uh, do your homework uh, right start from the today you uh, please maintain your chart uh, <coughs> maintain a special chart book for it, all the commodities uh, and you keep on practicing drawing the support and resistance and moreover trusting the support and resistance uh, that can guide you to uh, uh, attain some perfection in uh, trading and using technical analysis uh, so today we are expecting some buying in gold. Let us see what's going to happen today for uh, uh, trading in gold. Uh, thanks for watching our video and take care. Bye.